It's a beautiful day. Beautiful after a week and a half or so of cold, wet, yuck. The sun's out and it feels great. So I'm gonna go back and look at the bees and see what possibly needs done today. I tried to uh, take a look at them a few days ago using my brand new GoPro and well, it didn't go so well with me and the bees, but I'll give you a look at what that footage looks like. Hi, welcome to the Daddy Curbs Farm. I'm about to go back and do some beekeeping maintenance, some scything of the bee yard, and also swapping some boxes around. But my main purpose for this video is to take you along on my brand new GoPro. I have never used the GoPro for an official video, so this is my test. I don't plan on getting into the boxes too much so I'm not going to take any of the the fire equipment because the bees are out flying today and I just went back and looked at the hives and they are actually um, fairly empty compared to normal because the bees are out flying at least I hope I'm right by observation on the outside hey Maggie the plan is just to knock down some weeds and then move some boxes around. They are unpleasant, unhappy, so uh, <clears throat> one got me on the hand. I thought it would be okay to come out here without gloves, but apparently I was wrong. my sleeves so I wouldn't get stung anymore. I won't be opening the boxes unless I can go get smoke and gloves. But how was that for a test of the GoPro 7? Hopefully not bad. We'll see. Thanks for coming along on that little journey there. At least the bees are alive and well. How am I going to carry? How am I going to carry the camera and side back to the house with no hands? I was hoping the bees would like the GoPro a little more than the the big camera. I was hoping it would make less noise, but based on this right here, they're attacking this the camera, the GoPro, just as much as they have attacked my cell phone and the big camera. So there's something about the I guess maybe there's a frequency being emitted by the camera and uh, they don't like it. 
see how far they follow me. Sometimes the bees, as soon as you walk away from the hives, you know, a good 30 or 40 feet, they leave you alone because they figure they won. I can't take all these bees to the house because Luke is mildly allergic to bees. So I need to be careful about bringing upset bees close to the house. There's only probably three or four tenacious girls hanging on right now. Part of the reason I'm turning the camera and showing something else is because I want to know what the audio is like. Because there's no additional microphones on the GoPro at this moment. There's still a few bees. I see two. And Luke's outside, so I can't take these two angry bees up to the house. Is Luke in the house? I have a couple of angry bees on me. Well, that's it for this test. I got a little scything done. I didn't get into the hives at all. They came out a little too aggressive and got me on the ungloved hands. But this will be enough to test the GoPro footage. It's sloppy out here today just because it's been so wet. The mud in front of the horse, in front of the horse barn. Now I'm going to go into the horse barn and get some of these used up wood chips off the floor and see if I can find some that's worth burning in my burner here. I'm not taking a lot of stuff back there this time. There's three boxes back there that I could put on the hives and I might because we have had some rain and the bees are collecting pollen and nectar. So I might want to add another box just to give them room to work for the remainder of this year. I'll take a look in the hives and see if that's necessary. Oh man, that sun feels great. The bees are flying. There's a lot of activity in and out of the hives. I can tell that from here. I'm just outside the apiary right now. Bee yard. And so I'm going to get this fire going. When I was out here with the GoPro, they were not happy with me. And I think it had a lot to do with weather. But today I'm going to go in with the smoke just to be prepared. And hopefully they're a little more friendly. Okay, I think we're good. I don't want to go in without my gloves and my veil on because like I said, the last time I was out here, the bees were much less than happy. I'm almost out of these thick gloves. I gotta make another order on Amazon. Always make sure you're zipped all the way up and Velcro down, check your wrist, check your waistband, and if you don't have a shirt tucked in, check that little spot in the back that plumbers are famous for. All right, we're going in. Woo, almost got my tools caught on the rope. All right, smoke's good. I'm gonna put my can down here beside for a minute, get my camera set up on top of this hive over here. And we're gonna go in. I'm gonna give a little bit of smoke. Oh, I got a fire ant nest right under the hive here. I gotta be careful not to stand in that. 
I'm gonna give a little bit of smoke up front. A little bit of smoke under the hood. And we'll see what kind of condition Now the last time I looked, the last time I looked, there was enough space still in the top of this that I felt like I didn't need to add another box. I'm gonna end up with fire ants. Whew, those buggers will get you. If it's not the bees, it's the ants. I gotta space, pay special attention this time because of that fire ant nest. As always, we're going to take one of these first frames out, normally the frame, second frame. Frame in position number two, I should say, maybe. And that is a lot, a lot of honey. A lot of honey. Now see, here's what I was talking about. This was a, last time I was out here, this was, I think a totally empty frame. And this time one side is still empty, but the other side is being built on. And they have some honey in it. I think it's every other frame because I did checkerboard it last time. All right, so this one should be mostly empty but they got a nice bit of oh see that you see that yellow in there the dark yellow that's pollen that they're bringing in so they are bringing in it looks like nectar and pollen in here this is all new comb and they have it on both sides so they're building out nicely and the bees right now i think because the weather's pretty good i think the bees are being especially gentle you can see down in there Got their head stuck in there, and then this one should be mostly empty. Let me go ahead and pull that one out. Yeah, see, they still have plenty of room. They're not really building on that one so much yet. So I'm not going to add a box. I'm going to let them have their space that they have right now. And, um,. If I come out, hopefully I can come out in another week or so to assess whether or not uh, they, they have filled that up and then they need another box. I don't want to give them too much right now. They're all hanging out on this, this honey. Look how quiet they're being. They're just kind of hanging out on that honey. Not not too concerned about much. There's a, a few drones in there. Mostly girls, mostly workers. All right. I'm gonna just put that back together here. Let me push that over a little bit. Give myself a little room. I don't want to ruin a good thing here. They're all they're all being very kind. There we go. So hive number one looks really good. They're building comb, they're putting honey in it. So I'm just gonna move on to hive number two. I didn't see any beetles in there either. Normally if there's beetles, I see them right in the top of the hive. So we're gonna switch you guys over here onto top of hive number one, pointing to the top of hive number two. Today, I probably didn't even need smoke, but I just never know. When I came out last time, man, the bees were just so unhappy. And it may have been the scything, maybe they don't like the sound of that, but the first time I did the scything out here, they were fine, and so I don't know. Just a little bit of smoke 
across the top of this one. Looking, make sure there's no queen hanging out up here. Normally there's not, but just looking and I don't see any beetles. That's positive. So same thing, we're just gonna look in here and see what the condition of this comb is, see if they're building out. It should be pretty much the same condition as number one. Uh, they had a third box with checkerboard, meaning every other frame had honey, and then every other frame was empty. So we're gonna see how much they built up on that. So this one is one that was empty and is still pretty much empty. Yeah, well there's a tiny little bit of comb right here that they're building out. I don't know if you can see it in there. A little bit of comb. Maybe you can see it better from this angle. Right up here. This one has a bit of new. This, this one had more empty frames in the top I remember than the last one. So they built some honey on this one. Get my hat out of the way there. That looks really nice. And they're building up on the back. You can see that little spot there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Again, the bees are being very calm. It's much nicer being a beekeeper when the bees are not trying to kill you. So this one, again, yeah, this one had quite a few more frames that did not have anything on it. So they're building out beautifully on this. Gorgeous. This side is mostly empty. It's got a little bit on top. Yeah. This frame has some damage from wax moths. They get on there and they build their little cocoons and the, the larva chews out that uh, the wood on the frames. Yeah, they still have lots of room. I do not need to add another box on top. I think that would just be too much real estate at this point for them to keep... Oh, this one has no foundation. Beautiful. This is one that has no plastic foundation. Eventually, I'd like to do that all the way around. Just let them build all their own natural comb. But I just... I, I keep saying that, but I've never actually made the, uh, the frame, the foundationless frames to put in. But clearly, this one is larger. I think this one was probably mostly used as a drone brood. Now they're putting honey in it. But whenever they make them for drones, the, um, the cells are much larger than when they make them for worker bees. Worker bees. All right, I don't need to dig around anymore in here. I'm gonna put it back together. We're gonna to go check out one more. I have my GoPro set up on hive number three. I hope you guys like the, the look that I'm giving you. I'm gonna switch back and forth between the GoPro and my big camera. Hopefully that makes, gives a little more perspective to what I'm doing here. If I had four or five GoPros, I could put them on every corner of the bee yard and create a really cool perspective so you can see every angle. I buy all my camera gear with Patreon money. So those of you who are supporting me on Patreon, thank you very much for the GoPro. That uh, was paid for 100% by the funds that I get in from Patreon. All right, we're gonna go over and take a look at hive number three. That one is, let me just swivel the camera. Oop wrong knob swivel the camera here that one is the one over there with the GoPro on it so let's go take a look at that now I'm gonna put the GoPro over here actually you know what I'll put you over here by the big camera so you can get that perspective and I'll bring the big camera over here Again, checking the lid just to make sure there's not a bunch of mites, run not mites, uh, beetles running around and no queen bee. And let's see, I think this one should be pretty much the same. Not 
nice comb on top of that one. This is number one. That one's empty. And I do see a couple beetles. Smashed them. So I've only seen two beetles so far. And I killed them both. So hopefully that's it. I know it's not. There's always more. But. Okay, this is one that had honey in it already. And it's lots of good honey there. All this honey will go. Uh will stay in the box over winter. This time of year, I'm not taking any honey out. The only reason I would take honey out at this time of year is if they were just producing so much that they just had more than they were possibly gonna use to go through winter. It's another empty one. But I don't think that's gonna be the case this year. They are packing it in nicely right now but I think it's going to be a good amount to leave on like this again really nice looking honey and comb this side is built out completely and filled up and this one has just a little bit so they're building they're doing their job they're doing just fine and I can see let me go ahead so that one is the fifth one Pull these over. Nice nice comb on this side. Fairly empty, but they are drawing that out. This side's full. And once again, just some nice comb being built. But mostly empty so they have plenty of room I don't feel the need to add a box do anything special here so we're just gonna put them back together that's a quick inspection so I didn't get into the big uh, into the bottom boxes because I just didn't feel like it was necessary tonight to do that. I'm scooting to the side because I'm standing right in front of the entrance of hive number two. But uh, probably, and the GoPro bot battery just died. So that was just fun. It was fun for me to come out here with the camera after several weeks. It has been, well, the last time I was out here with the GoPro was only last weekend. But prior to that, because of all the rain and all the activity, uh, we've had, very limited opportunity to do anything outside so it's been at least three to four weeks prior to last week that I've done any beekeeping at all so I'm really really pleased to see the condition of the bees right now they look good uh, they're they're doing their job they're coming in and out beautifully in front of every hive I did uh, do a little bit of scything like you saw in the GoPro uh, video from last week but uh, it's just it was a bad day the bees didn't like they just didn't like that day. They didn't like me that day. So anyway, I do appreciate my patrons for helping me out with camera gear. That is just a huge, huge help because I wouldn't have been able to afford this out of my family budget. The Patreon budget is a lifesaver when it comes to buying equipment for the channel. So thank you very much to my patrons. You guys are lifesavers. I just said it, you're lifesavers. Appreciate that very much. I'm going to stop now because I'm rambling. Thanks again for hanging out with me here on the Daddy Kurtz Farm in a beekeeping episode. Loads of fun. I'll talk to you soon.